Hello and welcome back to another Pixel Game Maker tutorial. Today is a Patreon request from Midnight Darkness, and he wanted to see a Mega Man style stage select. So with that said, let's get started. All right, so this sample project is loaded up on my samples pack number one, and Patrons get this for free, just so you know. And so with that said, let's jump into the project here. All right, so real quick, it's just got a few stages. It's got a title screen, uh, the stage select screen, got a stage one, room one, and then a stage one, room two, or boss scene. And then stage two, three, and four are just a boss scene. And I'll explain why I set up the one, one, and the one, two room. And it's to show you how I would go about also exiting a stage. And so in the title screen, if we play test here, if I didn't have a save file, this continue would not be here. So if you wanted to reset that, you would go to open project folders, go to save file and delete this save file. Then you would not have the continue. So if we create a new game, we go to our stage select here. And so then if, let's just say that I selected the Wicked Witch. It's now going to go into the level. So this would be level one, and then this is level two. So just real quick, the, the way the logic works is you beat the boss, you're going to go back to the stage select, and then you can notice that it's grayed out, and you can actually not select it again. Then you would go to the next uh, stage, and then you would touch the boss real quick. That means that you beat it, and then it would bring you back out here. And then and now that one's grayed out. And so this, it, kind of a pause here so that you could, you know, show any cutscene that you wanted. But if I was to reset this and go to new game and do the Wicked Witch again with the first scene, I created a pause menu that would return to stage select. So I show an example of how I would return to stage select using that method. And basically what it does is in stage select, you have an object that, I think it's the input object actually. So if we go and edit this object, it auto saves. So when you get to stage select, it auto saves. And then when you are in the level and you call the menu, and again, this uses that new method that I really like, which disables the motion layer other than layer one. So you do, again, got to make sure you have a far left layer that is not associated with basically anything in the scene. And then when you're, when you are choose to exit stage select or to stage select, then all you do is you load a file and you load yourself back to the stage select. So that's what makes it nice because then I've said this in uh, other videos, you don't have to have this spaghetti links going from every stage back to stage select. Now you only need, you don't need anything from here. You just have it from the, the menu that loads back into it. Now, the only exits that you have to have are from the boss stage. And you can see that this is when the scene ends. And that's basically what the boss does. So when it's dead and your cutscene would be over of all that stuff, it would just end the scene and you would go back to stage select in which again, it, it would auto save. And so now if you were to go back into another stage and then come back, it's going to be auto saved that this boss is still defeated. And so that's the main point of that. But yeah, the stage select input is very simple. Just, you know, stage one, two, three, four. And then when you press a and stage three and the switches are off the, um, correlating switches, then you're just going to. I simply just hide everything with execute object action and then end the scene. And that's going to be the enter into the scene. So you'd have to have this, the first stage and then the boss stage. And then one would be leaving like this one is entering the stage. And then this one is exiting the stage. You'd have to have that on every stage, but the general idea of it is basically this and you're using the switches. So obviously when you have a boss, you're turning the stage one complete on or off or something like this. And then these uh, stage icons right here. So if you go to stage select in this one right here, for instance, go edit this one, you can see that this is its starting one. But if that switch is on, then I just simply apply a monochrome uh, filter to it. 
And then you'll notice that each one of these have the hide. And hiding is just what happens when you actually stage select. So you will execute object action, or in this case, I'm just executing object action to those hide states. Now, there's so many ways to go about the input. That wasn't what is uh, most important. I think the most important takeaways here are how to enter and how to exit. And I think that this is the safest way to go about it is entering just with one link in this normal screen flow, exiting from the boss with a screen flow. But in order to exit to stage select from mid level, that will be done through a menu scene in the uh, pause menu. And specifically in the input where it loads a file back to it, which again means that the stage select needs an auto save when you enter that save. So as long as you get those main concepts, I think this sample will, will help you out there. So yeah, if there's any questions, comments below, Steam Forms, Discord, we'll get you figured out. With that said, I'll see you at the next video.